Welcome, this is Zahn with Repro Products. Today's screencast video is on Autodesk Format 360 and the Layers command. I am here in Format 360. On the right hand side, there are a whole bunch of commands that are available. One of them is called Layers. It's the third one down from the top. You have the ability to add a layer. You have the ability to select objects and place them on the layer, and it will list all the different layers that are available. Layers in Format 360 is very similar to layers in AutoCAD where you're just creating a container and you take the objects and you place them in that container. That way you can manipulate the contents that are in that container. In AutoCAD we know that you can do a lot with layers and all the different layer states. But in Format 360 the layers is really meant for you to hide or show that content. Now, we cannot manipulate those content as a whole yet similar to what AutoCAD functionality is like what most people are used to. So I can go over here and I click add layer and I can give it any name that I want. Say for example um, conceptual design content. And then maybe another one that says uh, existing buildings or something like that. So then now that I have them created in order for me to physically place objects in the correct layer that I want, I just, I just need to select my content. So I'll just do a window crossing of all this data right here. And then I can go back up here where it says selection on and just choose conceptual design. And it gets placed in that bucket. If I uncheck, for example, sitemap, you'll see the sitemap disappears. If I uncheck conceptual design, all that content disappears. So if I, if I I want to create content and put it on a layer instead of having objects already created and placing it on the layer. I just need to create that content. Once that content is created, you'll want to manipulate that content if you need to. So for example here, this is supposed to be the existing building. And I'll just push and pull it just a hair more and rotate my building a little bit. and it will push and pull this. So this is the existing building. And I want to take, to take this existing building and assign it to that layer. So again, if I just select that object, I can do a window crossing like this, which sometimes um, is a little hard to do because you might accidentally grab other content, as you can see here. Or you can just place your mouse over the object and hit tab until it highlights everything and left click once. Now the whole entity is selected and again I can go in here and I can force it to be whatever layer that I want. So let's go ahead and tab into this one and um, I want it to be existing building. So for some reason it's not letting me do so. It's very strange once in a while this happens. So the easiest way is to save your file and then reopen your file. And then once that's done, we can tab into the object, head over to layers, and then specify what layer we want that to go to. So now that it's been assigned properly, if I were to uncheck existing building, it should disappear. And same thing with conceptual design, as well as site. And that's how you work with the layers in Format 360. Thank you very much.